What shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. Walkie talkie. Hi fellow enthusiasts, welcome to my channel. Let's go into today's video and we're gonna come back at the end to wrap it up. You can hear it's talking, volume is low. Now, before going any further, I just wanna show you the, the duplication we have here. So this transceiver is powered by these batteries and this transceiver is powered by that battery. Now. This is configured as the receiver. You can see the switch away from the volume control. This is configured as the transmitter with the switch closer to the volume control. So let's try it now. All right, so let's watch the transceiver here. This is the transmitter and that is the receiver. So as I can, I will talk into this and then the signal comes out from there. Let's adjust the volume a little bit. So we just use this screwdriver and adjust this variable resistor. All right. I think the problem is way high up right now. All right. So it is way high up right now. So I'm gonna try to use Okay, speaker instead of that and see how it works. So transmitter, receiver, okay, okay. When you switch this switch, when you turn the switch towards the variable resistor, it functions as the transmitter. When you turn it away from the variable resistor, it functions as a receiver. So you have a transmitter and a receiver identical circuit. Identical circuit. Alright. I'm going to turn this off now. All right. So this is an identical circuit. In every sense of it, all the components are identical. And um, one is functioning as a transmitter and the other as a receiver. So I'm going to shut this, this one too. And I'll come back and I'll see how it works. Here's the transceiver the transmitter and the receiver at the same time the way it's configured right now on this side it is in the receive section when i turn the switch towards here it becomes a transmitter all right so let's just do that right now all right so it is now a transmitter as you can hear i am using the old receiver you built for that and I'm using this as a transmitter at this time. Now I have a copy, a carbon copy of the transmitter of the transceiver right here. I'm gonna turn that on shortly. But right now we're just testing with the old receiver you built. So that's the transceiver. That's just a receiver. All right. Again today we're using that speaker that we used before connecting through this uh, receiver so again I'm using the speaker hello hello and then I can actually um, I'm trying to make it stand on this um, all right all right to tune the radio I'm gonna use uh, Phillips screwdriver on this capacitor, variable capacitor. And then I can also fine tune it on the receive side. Right, so. That's the transmitter and receiver. So I will show you now how to build the circuit using the same components for a transmitter and a receiver. Actually, there is a 
um, jumper wire we have over there this jumper wire is where we're in the receive section we can jump uh, this connection and see how to improve but I would say uh, when you build this I'll show you the circuit diagram when you when you replicate this I would prefer you use the circuit for this receiver instead so I'm going to show you the circuit for this receiver use this receiver versus that receiver and also that receiver also functions as a transmitter or you just include the extra transistor for preamplification include that in yours because this receiver functions better than this receiver all right so we have gone ahead to put the jumpers on both circuits um should remove the five volt regulators and this one is functioning now as a receiver switch away from the the, the uh variable resistor and this one switch towards the variable resistor so this is the transmitter and that is the receiver so let's test this out it's done so much for me i cannot tell it all now we have seen the circuit is working properly now what we got ahead to do on the receive side was we connected the jumper uh we'll show you this in the circuit diagram but we jump this at the bottom so because um we have this jumper here we could have just connected a jumper top here but we decided to just solder it um so you can see we shorted it out uh, i'll show you in the circuit diagram what this is but yeah so we have the transmitter here and we have the receiver over there now if you want to turn this to receiver you just flip the switch and now this one is now the receiver and that is the transmitter but we need to connect a speaker there now the audio is pretty low i'm gonna try with just connecting the speaker directly but the audio from this is low that's why we're still using this amplifier um it could be that we just need to make an adjustment i even have this uh, um booster capacitor here to boost the signal coming from this amplifier by 20 times but it seems that it's still low so maybe the signal coming from the receiver here needs a little bit more amplification before going into the power amplifier all right we've made a little adjustment on one of the uh, boards for this board here we still kept the five volts regulator but on this board here we're, we've removed that use the jumper wire to connect from the input to the output so in to out we left the ground open as you can see and then just connect the power back and um he's done so much for me i cannot tell you I'm still using the same receiver all right he's done so much for me so the uh, transmitter here uh we're gonna do the same on this we're gonna do the same on this other one remove the uh voltage regulator and then power it out and see the reason for this the reason for this adjustment we're making now is because our power supply here will have six volts on this side then this other uh, circuit we're powering through sometimes through 3.7 volts uh, battery and um, yeah sometimes it just doesn't work well with the voltage regulator which is um higher voltage all right we just made it all um do it yourself so this remains the transmitter the receiver we added the other lm386 amplifier you're familiar with this amplifier we added it and, and just have this uh blackberry speaker connected to it and uh, you can hear it still works Mary, Mary. Mary, Mary. So about the reception, we have no issue with that. The problem we have is amplification. So I will advise to put uh, a pre-amplifier before this amplifier. So uh, in my case, I just went from the one transistor to the amplifier, and the signal is very weak. So you need a pre-amplifier stage before that. So when you build this, add at least one or two transistors. 
I would advise you add two transistor stage before the power amplifier. That way, if it's so loud, you can remove the one of the preamplifiers. If it's not loud enough, you can um, you can leave them in, right? In my own case, it's, it's too low. It actually works without this auxiliary amplifier, just that the sound is low coming from the speaker that I'm using, coming from this speaker. I'm going to try a different speaker now and see how it improves. Final setup, I have a bigger speaker for each channel. And so let's just turn this on to receive you. And let's see. Hello. So this is receive you. And this is transmit. So you can see it. I'm transmitting from one and receiving from the other. I'm going to switch it around. And this goes to the other way around. All right. All right. So transmit and receive. So if you do this, use a push to talk switch. So you don't have to really, um, here I toggle it, I use toggle switch, but you can use push to talk. And they are tuned exactly to the same channel, the same transmit and receive channel. So let's switch it again. All right. Let's switch it around. Just by toggling the switch, you can start broadcasting now. Um, I'm going to talk you through this. I'm going to talk you through how this is designed and how we were able to get them on the same channel using just these two components. The inductor will show you how to build that and we'll show you how to choose the capacitor. If you watched our video from last week, you will know how to choose your capacitor. And we're going to show you again in this episode. Um, actually, we're going to make a series where or we show you how to let's make each of them the same. Yeah. So we're going to show you how to um, build this the complete circuit diagram. And then we'll show you how to make these components. We'll make it into a series so it's not too long for each video. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks for sticking around to the end. That will be it from us today. Please, if you have not subscribed, do so right now. And don't forget to like and share this video. Until we come your way again with more content, stay enthused.